Well, good day, and nice to see you, these happy young faces from Peacock Collegiate who are going to be talking about their upcoming production, which is called Beehive. And I have to say, I've never heard of this musical before. And uh, so welcome to uh, Sophia Peters and uh, Lavana Deek, uh, who are two of the main leads in the play. So girls, let's just uh, start off. Tell me about Beehive, what it is, and and how you decided to do it. For sure, Beehive is like a very strong ensemble musical and basically we just take you on a trip back to the 60s. Yeah, and basically we're just gonna have three groups of all of us and it'll be a real fun time because then we're all just gonna be staying together a lot of the time. It's gonna be great, yeah. Well, now you are involved with the musical theater program at Peacock because mm -hmm. uh, uh, all the students who are involved with the production have to take the class and how many kids are in that class right now do you know offhand i want to say 35 to 40 a lot okay of from grades 9 to 12. wow and uh you meet every day yep yeah, yep every day and you rehearse every day yeah yes, so we, we have a, a class where we meet every single day and then sometimes after school and on some weekends we all meet up too well that sounds like pretty interesting what grade are you in we're both in grade 12. Yeah. Wow. So you've had a lot of experience. How many musicals have you been in before? Well, you have significantly more experience than me. I didn't start doing musicals until I got to Peacock. So for me, this is my fourth year. I think this is my ninth or 10th musical. Where did you do musicals before? Uh, I did musicals with Rhubarb Productions when they were in Moose Jaw. Okay. I started when I was like eight or nine, and I've just been going strong since then. <laughs> going strong. Oh, oh yeah. That's great. And so um, we've seen you on the stage before. You guys are comfortable doing that. What okay. part do you play? Are, are, I guess there's various parts you play. Is there a lot of dialogue or is it mostly singing and dancing? It is mostly singing, uh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Now, you're, uh, this is taught by a collaboration of teachers, isn't it? The yeah. class. So who do you have for teachers? So we have Mr. Deans and we have Ms. Hemstock as of right now. Okay. And Mr. Deans yeah. handles the uh, acting mm -hmm. and the producing, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. yeah. And Miss Miss Hemstock is doing, she's a dancing oh, dynamo. Yeah. She's really busy with all the songs we have. Yeah, she's doing dancing and teaching us all the music as well. We also have a few students who are choreographing a couple pieces, which is oh. going to be really cool. Yeah. Who's who's that? Uh, Sierra Downey and Harper Gibbon. And what are they doing? What's have specific songs they do? I'm not actually sure. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know the songs that they're doing. Yeah, I'm excited for it though. Yeah. When does this take place? We should tell people that. Of course. So our performance dates are December 8th, 9th, and 10th. And tickets will actually go on sale soon at sasktix.ca. Or if you okay. want more information, you can call AEP Cock at 693-4626. And they have access to the, the website to put That's people right. in plates. What's it cost? Mr. Deans, what did it cost? <laughs> $20. <laughs> okay. Well, that's for everybody, all the different seats. And you have about 600 seats in that auditorium, so it's pretty good that uh, hopefully you can fill them up. So tell yeah. me, this is a, a musical in the set in the 60s. And of course, for me, that, that music is kind of uh, like when I was your age, that was my music. Mm -hmm. So um, what songs, you, just what are some of the songs that I'm going to hear? And uh, just jog my memory of uh, happy times from back in when I was 17 or 18. For sure. Uh, my favorite song we're doing is It's My Party. And then we're also doing... Leslie like, Gore, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. We're also doing like Be My Baby, uh, The Name Game, Proud Mary. So there's a lot of classics in there. Yeah. And you get to sing all of them? Or in all of them at some yeah, point? So Again, yeah. like with these ensembles, we kind of have like one group is singing each song, so we kind of rotate, but we do have some songs that all of us are singing together. Yeah. Wow, that must be quite a spectacle then when you get flying around the stage singing. Oh, yeah, oh, it yeah. should be good. <laughs> yeah. So do you know how many songs are in the musical itself? I believe it's 27. Wow. Like yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
So I had to rehearse quite a bit to do this. Who are some of the people involved besides Mr. Deans and Ms. Semestock? Um, who's your stage manager? That's a very important person. Yes. So that is Avery Surtees, yes. who is in okay. grade 11. And she'll be joining us like around mid-November since we're still just kind of working on finishing up with some songs. And then she'll be joining us in. And we're, of course, getting all the blocking in place mm -hmm. and uh, things like that. Well, that's good. And you've got a cast about 35 kids. How about a crew? Is, is there a special crew or do the actors actually participate as crew members too? So we do have a few kids who join the class and have planned to be crew members, but I'm not too sure what the numbers are for that. Yeah. But also, I do know that I don't think we need much of a crew, if I remember correctly, yeah. since there's going to be many set changes or anything. Yeah. Well, is it a stationary set or do pieces go in and out or how does that work? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just going it's to stay stationary set. set. Yeah. Okay. So and Mr. Got... Thompson's actually doing all of our sets, so that's super exciting. Yeah. Now, his son is probably involved technically, I would think. Um, I'm not sure this year. He for sure really? Was year. He was like a big asset. He might be. I'm not sure. but Yeah, not yet but anyway. Not... Yeah, you're still rehearsing probably in the drama room. Yeah. 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 Well, that's quite a quite exciting for you guys to do this. And what are the, the dates are November the? December 8th, 9th. December, sorry, yes. Yeah. 8th, 9th and 10th. Yeah. Three days worth. Is oh, yeah. there, and that's pretty exciting, you're building towards it. Um, when do you move on to the stage? Um, probably like, like November, probably, yeah, mid November. Like, that's my guess. Yeah. As early as we can would be great because it's mm -hmm. good to get the experience on there. But yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, you guys have given me a lot of good information here. And <laughs> why should people come see this show? Because it's going to be amazing. Yes, <laughs> it's a great thing to bring the whole family to, and grandparents to go back to the '60s. It's going to be awesome. And do you appreciate the music from these like these times? I mean, For you know, sure. oh, absolutely, yeah. Like my parents and grandparents play this music all the time and I just like, I love it. So it's a good time. Yeah, well, that's a good thing. And so I, I, I'm i trying to look for things that we want to share with the audience, the, the people who are watching and say, why would they want to come and see this? I, you've got choreography and, and dancing. Uh, you've got really good singers, right? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many songs do, do you have as leads in them? Okay, so hmm, how do I explain this? So basically, with each song, we're kind of just yeah. we're kind of just going with the flow. Okay. And like, as we go along and learn the songs, we're going to basically put people on them. Like some of them are with people just by themselves asleep, but some of them it's a small group. So it kind of really just yeah. depends. And we it's going to be a great variety. Yeah, we haven't divvied up all the songs totally yet, but we're featured in a few yeah. for sure. Okay. Now uh, is it? Uh, no, I know it's just it's songs and it's a collection like that. Is there a storyline that ties it together? Or just come up, bam, there's a song, then bam, there's a song. Mostly just a collective and the different icons kind of popping up and being like, let me show you this. And like, let's go back and see this. So they're kind of, it's a journey through a time. Yeah. Oh, okay. And is it speaking from a perspective of now or a perspective from then? I would probably say just like, it's like, looking back so just like okay remember go-go boots and then you go back in time yeah would be my guess. oh go-go boots <laughs> where do you find costumes for this well i yeah that is not our department <laughs> <laughs> i'm really excited to see what they come up with though because yeah. there's some great outfits is there hopefully <laughs> yeah hopefully yeah well yeah I, I when you said go-go boots i went yeah mini skirts Hopefully. Hot, <laughs> hot pants? Or do you know what that is? I'm not sure what that is. Oh. <laughs> I think I know. Aren't they like the like, oh. light, warmer like, workout things? Possibly? Oh, they're, um, it's like shorts, but they, uh, and, uh, but they're made of uh, fancy material and stuff like that. So they're kind oh. of dressy. Kind yeah. of dressy. Yeah. Oh. And you wore them with go-go boots. Oh. Well, you did. I didn't. <laughs> Now, what about the guys? Are there bell bottoms involved in this, or that's maybe a little I bit hope later? So. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to see yeah. it. 
We haven't yeah. seen all our costumes yet, but I know they're working really hard to get everything put together. Um, yeah. There should be some, yeah. There should who be some are good. who are some of the groups that that uh, whose music you are featuring? That maybe, are they like do you, are doing Beach Boys songs? Um, so yeah. we're doing some Burnett's tunes, the Shirelles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Jesse Springfield song. Yeah, that'll be good. Well, those sound like a lot of fun. I, yeah, I can yeah. certainly tell that you know, the enthusiasm you have is is quite something to. Oh, I'm so excited! To, to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And who are some of the other kids that are in the cast that have uh, some responsibility that we may have seen on the stage before? Sure. Um, let's see. I don't. I don't know his last name, no. but we have Devin. Um, who goes now by Vex, who is also, who he was Gus last year in Leader of the Pack. Okay. And he will be here again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like it's really hard to pinpoint just a couple people who are mm -hmm. like. Because there's so many, eh? It's such an ensemble mm -hmm. group and everyone is like, everyone's doing so good. Everyone's so like into it, which is perfect. And everyone's putting, they're all in. Mm -hmm. um, so it's hard to pinpoint just a couple people, but everyone's yeah. working really hard. Well, that's really good that you uh, that you appreciate that everybody gets to contribute and everybody's contribution yeah. is worthwhile. Yeah. Well, no, I'm thinking you guys, we've got about a minute left. That's all. <laughs> so let's go. Let's talk about when it is, where you can get tickets, and why people should come. So where you go. All right. All right. So our performance dates are December eighth, 9th, and tenth. You can go get tickets at sasktix.ca, or if you want more information, call 693-4626. And you right. can come. <laughs> yes. yeah. um, to see you. For everyone, yeah. Well, good deal. And that's Beehive at Peacock Collegiate. Uh, okay. Thanks, girls, for coming and uh, sharing. I love the backdrop that you have there. Yeah. Oh, did yeah. Mr. Did Mr. Dean pick this out to, for the study? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good choice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks very much and break a leg. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>